Okay. 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 Are you surprised? I am highly surprised. <laughs> to see y'all here. I thought y'all were going to be a while. Oh, man. Well, it's a, it's a while. We, we, was, we had a little detour. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, y'all was off on a trip, man. Yeah. Oh. You, know, you know when you leave North Carolina and head to Tennessee? Deep South's right on the way. Yes. They just took it's a hard left. Well, no, she told me y'all had been gone on, left on a trip. Yeah. Wherever we went and we picked up something, we need your opinion of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me find my hat. Yeah, it's, uh, we don't know if we did right or we did good or not. But Mickey said it's my fault. If it's wrong, it's her fault. Really? Yes. Okay. So we took her advice on this. Oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> then it's <laughs> probably <laughs> wrong. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my word. Oh, no. You think it'll grind cornmeal? If it don't, I'm thinking that it could. <laughs> Possibly. Is that a meadow? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Speechless is not your good side, okay? I, I'm sitting, I'm blown away. I mean, I'm just. All original, 1944. Yeah, I see that. Will so it work? See it. We got a video. And we talked to him for a while about it. That when we, when we picked it up, we were early. And he had a trailer truck there that he was loading. So we didn't get the video and ask everything we wanted to. But we'd already asked before. We're just gonna try to get it on video, right? But uh, you definitely need some more work. Um, there's a couple of screws that come out of it, and so forth and so on. The man said stones are good. Said it's set up to grind. Uh, did he say mule? I don't remember which one. Now. But anyway, uh, we got videos of his place. He's got two of them set up, and this man is sending out pallets. You know the bags that you. Go to Lowe's and buy that gravel. He's got the big bags. And I mean, his trailer truck load coming in there and loading it. Is it didn't have the screen? I think they is this the screen. I didn't know. Well, I don't know. I mean, apparently not because he said it didn't have a screen and he didn't have one on either one of his, and so we couldn't take any pictures to find out. Because this is this shakes. I see the thing here. Mm -hmm. This actually shakes. Or well, I mean, no, maybe not. Maybe this is how you. Oh, this is the amount of corn you put into. Oh, okay, it. there you go. And then this, but this has it. to shake. To shake the kernels down to in shake there, maybe. The kernels through these holes in this right here. We we are relying on you. Oh to man, to get this figured out because we want to get us one. Really? But we can't get one. Oh, we, you want to get you one? This is yours. What? This is yours. Story. 28 hours on the road later and here it is we went from tennessee north carolina tennessee alabama here we are we told you he made a hard left i don't know what to say well uh, say that we did good oh you done you that's done, what we've done wanted. well that's what we've done well Say that you're going to show the world how to use the thing. <laughs> That's what it's all I'll, about. It'll be a learning process. Yeah. Uh, 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 I've ground a lot of corn in my life, but I've never, I've never done one with a stone ground. It's always been with the steel burr or the flail. You know, I've never done a stone ground. Um, you know, all these questions Miss Wanda has been asking you in the past week or two. Yes, about a I pretty much said Mickey's we thinking about. Oh, what is you? I was oh, saying so Mickey wants is, uh, to know well, about I these. I was so for a meal for you, and I said, "Well, if that was me, I would get this for him. I would tell him." Well, this, I hope you're right because him. that's what you got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I could. There's nobody to blame but me. So. This is a, a twenty-four. Yeah, this is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. 24 and <laughs> the man that where we got it, he had his two twenty set. Oh wow! And he's got one set for meal and one for grits. And, we actually have some samples to see how that, we're going to get so, your opinion on that too. I'm looking at 
the belts on this side, is this made where it can run off of electric motor also? No, or? that's the for the blower. We have a little belt. There's two different belts that he said you can contact metals and order. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Anything else. And we've got the, the size of it. the actual belt that's just broke. But uh, that's, that's the blower. That's part. the blower. So as the yeah. belt turns, this blunt turns, turns the blower to blow out whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is this screen, is that just to keep something open out of that, or does that actually go with it? I give. Oh, really? We, okay. We, we Come on, now. Need some help. <laughs> <laughs> we have pictures. We have okay, pictures. you got pictures. Okay, yeah. it's kind of like that commercial. Come on TV. Somebody. I saw somebody do it once, so, you know. <laughs> here's, here's, here's the bottom line. Okay. We know that you're going to do your thing with this. and it, oh, now, It's oh. still all original. I don't know if you'll change that or, or the color and all that, but. We know that you'll probably do a video on it and try to show people what it's about and the benefits of grinding your own and oh, gluten, yeah. gluten free and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so me and Miss Kathy came to the conclusion, and and I know you and Miss Wanda know this, but you guys touch more people than you really know. And I know, I know you know that uh, a lot of people get back to you and this and that. Y'all help a lot of people. You help more than more people than you realize. We get a lot of really good emails from people. Yeah. If you're doing good, you're going to get flack, no matter what. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, we well, we've tried to help a lot of people and got just yeah. You know, but we don't quit. Yeah, that's you know. And I say that a lot. It's a shame that when somebody does do you wrong, it kind of makes you hesitate to help the next fellow. Yeah. But yet we have to. And I'll say this: we are the last. The last generation oh, I believe, yeah. of men who are men who say when they tell you something and shake their hand, they're they going to follow word. through with it and keep the word. Yep. But going back to why we're doing this, mm -hmm. with you know, without your and Miss Wanda's inspiration, we wouldn't even have a channel. And so we've had a lot of folks from all across the world contact us, that, you know, your viewers and so on. And, uh, We've been blessed, and a lot of that has to do with you and Miss Wanda. So we're returning the blessing. And that's just the way that works. What goes around comes around. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I've never had anybody be good. You know? I hear you. <laughs> it leaves me where I'm. And here's the yeah. coincidence tomorrow's Father's Day. Well, that's what I'm sitting you here know? thinking about. <laughs> About, okay, this has been planned for a while, evidently. And I didn't know they were coming until just before you come home yesterday. Oh, really? Yes. She messaged and says, we took a hard left and we're headed to Mississippi. I'm like, what? Yeah, I ain't been home long. Well, we know. Well, I sent Kathy a message, okay, change of plans. Don't come over there, come here. <laughs> yeah, because I actually don't have a tractor here to unload it. My tractor's at the other one. We part. got to go to the other one. Well, the thing I like is, it, is it's got a belt. Yes. How long is the belt? Do you know? It's not very really long, actually. So I got the I got the attachment to go on the back of my cub. Metal. You said you can order anything from metal. I can order a belt from metal. Anything. Too. Any part. Okay. Anything. Wow. That's good. So I that's to... that's an outstanding company that's been around. The, the I know two, they're an old old company. Yeah, the two that he had operating, I think he said was nineteen nine or nineteen twenty two, and this is nineteen forty four. That's old. Eighty years old. And there's a screw or two that's vibrated out. Because I check it every time we stop. Well, yeah. I can show you. It screws made it all the way. Out. I mean, what was that? How many miles was that? Six, oh, we, it's, it's seen a thousand and miles. And it's been riding like that, yeah. so. It sure it's has. In you good just beat shape. the rain all the way around. Well, well Wanda's been gracious. praying for us. She prayed for us all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My thought is your tractors are over yonder. I want to take them, but we want to eat first. But. We take them over there. Oh, they hadn't eaten. We had no. We hadn't eaten. I hadn't even eaten. That's how yeah. come I kept diddling around. Well, I was wondering because I she, <laughs> she she come brought me a plate and she says here eat. And I'm like, well, she's not eating. I said, what's she's... going on? <laughs> so what do y'all think? Hey, like I'll stand in the hoe and then you'll be taller than me. <laughs> You're not as tall as a hey, corn. That's almost 12 foot for sure, right here on the edge of it. Yeah, just on the edge. Holy moly! You know what a corn maze you can make with this? Yeah. You could sell tickets to You could just walk down, down in like there. It's 30 yeah. foot tall. It's tall. Get over here by where I can picture. Well, I think she's filming. I'm filming. I'm filming. Filming. Yeah, what do you think? I think it's incredible. I thought she was. And I see that it's already turned brown. Look at the ears. 
Yeah. That ear is 16 inches right there. And that's on the outer edge. Yeah. Imagine inside. Mm -hmm. Look how, how big that ear is all. Yeah. Look at that. I've never seen corn anything like this. That never, been, ever. Was that 30 or 40 feet tall? And I've <laughs> come hunted some <laughs> no, years. Maybe 12. No way. Is it what, 12? Yeah, it's 12. Some of it's probably 14. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, That's I've, some big I've ears, isn't corn it? All my life, I've never seen corn like this. Never, ever, ever. Mm -mm. All right, y'all want to get married in front of the corn? Come on, y'all can get. Ooh. Woo! That might be a good idea, actually. Pull it off, dude. Hello everybody, it's Danny and Wanda back from Deep South Homestead. Well guys, I got the surprise of a lifetime. Uh, first of all, before I even go into it, I want to say thank you to Mr. Mickey and Ms. Kathy from Hills Mill um, Homestead and my wife Wanda and all of you guys. Because if you remember here a while back, I told you that I was actively looking for a hammer mill and a grist mill. Now I've been looking for a grist mill for over a year. Um, and you guys came through for me because we got lots of uh, suggestions, uh, lots of places to check out. Well, Mr. Mickey was a man on a mission. He took the information and he ran with it. And him and Miss Kathy, uh, once we located the, the mill, they went and picked it up, and today I got shocked. I was uh, at the house, just minding my business, sitting there doing my stuff on the internet, eating dinner, and Mr. Mickey and Miss Kathy drove up. I did not know this. Miss Wanda had planned this with, with them, and they all told me, Happy Father's Day. Come out here and let me show you what we've got. And guys, I came out, and this is what they delivered to me today. Now this, to my understanding, I haven't looked at the plate over here or anything like this. Um, I'd have to have a flashlight to look at the plate because it's actually dark in here unless I flip a light on. Let's see. I don't know if that helps any right there. Um, not 100% sure. But it's a Meadows Mill. It's a Meadows <clears throat> uh, Grist Mill. It's a 24 inch one. Now this one's a large one. Now there's a couple of things that uh, uh, that that's missing. Now the, the man, the gentleman who owned it, um, said that it was in good working order. It had been working, but there's a couple of things that was missing on it. One is the shaker that goes on this side over here. There is a rod that comes from in here out to here. There's a little L-shaped J-looking piece here that kind of moves back and forth and then the uh, the tray that goes here that's got the screen in it that separates the cornmeal, the corn flour and stuff like that, the grits. And then there's a wooden piece that hangs on this here out with a little latch on it that holds the shaker up over here with a knob on top of it. This little section right here is missing off of it. We're going to have to start, and I'm going to call the company. Now one thing about Meadows is Meadows has a has a phone number that I can go to, and they said they carry a lot of these old antique parts and stuff like this. Um, I'll go there and see if they have it. And uh, another thing is the uh, over here is the grain uh, spout that sticks off of here. 
that the meal falls through. Into this screen thing here is actually missing off of it. I got to have, I got to get one of those also. And then this belt here, this belt, it, it, it broke on us. And uh, this belt actually crisscrosses, to be honest with you. It actually goes around like this here. Now what this does is there is a, a blower right inside this right here that blows any chaff out of it or anything while the grains fall down through here. It blows trash out that side over there. It's a high volume blower system that's in it. And guys, this thing uh, came and gave, he got me a belt. That's one thing I was excited about. Uh, it came with a belt that uh, my Cub tractor, I can back my Cub tractor right up here and it fits right on the Cub tractor. It'll run it without any problems. Um, I'm just ecstatic about this. Okay, the, uh, the gentleman that we got this from owns a company, um, Peaceful Valley Farms in Old Fort, North Carolina. They actually sell cornmeal, corn grits, all that kind of stuff there. Uh, tell the gentleman that uh, Deep South Homestead sent you, uh, the one who purchased uh, his uh, grist mill that he had, um, the Meadows one. Um, and just, guys, look, they, uh, they brought us some back for us to try. Uh, we'll be trying it here to see. It's all heirloom corn that the man uses. Now, he's an elderly gentleman. He's in his 70s. Um, he actually has lots of these mills, and he has a pretty good size system running there, to my understanding. Uh, to my understanding, this gentleman says that this is a five-generation farm that's there, and um, so I'm excited to try out his products that he that we got from him. And I'm excited to get this up and running once I get these other parts here um, and get, I don't know, I'm just ecstatic because he said the stones in it was in really good working shape, nothing wrong with them. He said they had been being used and there's no problems with them. Uh, said they've done a fantastic job. Um, and I, you know, I'm just excited. I know it's old, but this is a, what was it, a 19... 1944. 44 or 49. It's going to be, I looked it up online. It could be, it's going to fall between 44 and 49. Uh, said, look at the serial number, which I haven't, I, I got to have a light to get it. Uh, but I got to get the serial number and call uh, the Meadows Company, and they'll take the serial number, and they'll tell me what parts I need and how I need to do it. Um... But if any of you all happen to have any of those parts that you're willing to part with, hey, I would be more than happy to purchase them from you. So, guys, we are about to be in the milling business. I've um, uh, been wanting one of these for quite some time. Uh, I have my Danny corn out here. When it dries um, this fall and everything is like it's supposed to be, if I've got this baby up and cleaned up like I want it, and you know me, I'm probably going to redo the whole thing you know you know how i am because i love antiques and i love to make them look new again i just dearly want to say thank you to mr mickey and miss kathy at hills mill homestead now i would like for y'all to go check them out uh they from lyles tennessee so if you're ever up in the area you might want to check them out mr mickey has a sawmill there he has if y'all watched our channel for any length of time you know mr mickey has uh i've purchased a lot of lumber from mr mickey um and and the one thing I'll say about Mr. Mickey is he's a man of his word. That's a big deal with me. You know, uh, I've been burnt by so many people in the past that when I find a person that's a man of their word, uh, to me, they're a true friend. Now, Mr. Mickey does the lumber. He does the electroculture rods. Um, and Mr. Mickey got so excited when he, found, when he picked this one up for me that... He actually found him one that actually is a lot bigger than this one, I believe. And he said it had a, uh, I think he said it had a Papa John engine on it, one of the old single cylinder things on it. So it's all mounted on a trailer. It's ready to go. And uh, to my understanding, him and Miss Kathy are going to go back, are going to go into the business also of grinding cornmeal and corn grits and stuff like that. 
So guys, if you need lumber, if you need electroculture antennas, and in the future, if you're gonna need some cornmeal and some grits from good corn and stuff like that, uh, Mr. Mickey might be the man you wanna see. Go check him out and tell him Deep South Homestead sent you over there because I am, I totally did not expect this today. Uh, Father's Day is tomorrow and when they come driving up with this and Ms. Wanda looked at me and said, Happy Father's Day and Mickey and Kathy jumped out and said, we went and got this for you. Ms. Wanda sent us on a mission and I was like, you know, I don't cry, but I had to hide the tears because my eyes began to water and I could feel them beginning to water because it just meant so much to me because I've been looking for one for so long that I just, I didn't know what to say. I was speechless and Mickey looked at me and he said, uh, to see you speechless, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And I told him, I said, brother, I can't help it. I, I don't know what to say, you know? So to him, Ms. Wanda, and you all for giving the tips on where all these kind of things were at and everything, thank y'all so much. I just want to take one last thing. I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, I've been a father now for <laughs> way over half of my life, and I know what it means to be a father. So to all you, all you guys out there that are fathers, happy Father's Day. Thank y'all from Deep South Homestead.